too! swallowed by this dark vortex of delusion. Except, it didn't swallow me. It was my doing. I threw myself, willingly into this maelstrom. But, it's pulled me down deeper, and with more violence than I could have ever imagined. Dimension Neptunia Z. Game industry. A world which exists outside of our reality, where four CPUs protect and rule above each nation. CPU Blackheart rules, last station. The nation where CPU Whiteheart rules, Louis. The nation where CPU Greenheart rules, Leanbox. In the past, game industry had been exposed to threats such as the deity of sin and the CPU of the ancient nation of Tari. But thanks to the efforts of the four CPUs, a lasting era of peace has been maintained. However, as they enter the CPU shift period, their enduring reign is approaching its end. like something plastic slamming against the concrete. Hmm, I think it came from over there. Maybe I should go take a look. And so, 
here we find our heroine in a spooky back alley, shrouded in darkness in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. Someone, save me! Huh? Is that a voice? Someone, anyone, save me! Save the Zero Dimension! Hello? Someone there? Come on, answer me! That's so weird. I could have sworn I heard it coming from around here. Hmm? Wait, what's this on the ground? It almost looks like... a game console? But who even makes this? It's got a white body, a swirl mark, even a sophisticated game sommelier like myself has never seen anything like this. Well, I don't see anyone around here, so I guess I'll just take, uh, I mean, deposit this at the Basilicon for safekeeping. Yeah. Hey, Nepgear! Looky look! I found a super cool vintage game console! Oh, really? Maybe we can try playing it later. Also, welcome home, Neptune. I'm glad you made it back safe and sound. This kid is Nepgear. She may seem older, but don't be fooled. She's my little sister. The CPU candidate of the nation, Planetune. Neptune, where in game industry have you been? This is not the time to be goofing off. I will not forgive you today. Gah! It's Isti! This small fairy-looking girl is Istoir. Or Isti, as I like to call her. Planetune's first CPU created her in order to keep a record of the nation's history and, right now, she acts as Planetune's oracle. She's cute till she opens her mouth and turns into a little dictator. It's a character flaw that I'm gonna talk to the writers about soon because... <laughs> Neptune, listen to me. We're in the midst of a game industry's shift period, and this is simply not the time for brash behavior. Ah, uh, come on, Isti, lighten up! It's just a little old shift, period. Wait, what is that again? Even though I had explained it so thoroughly, I will explain it once again. So please, listen. The CPU shift period is the season when citizens begin searching for new CPUs to follow, instead of placing their faith in those already presiding. We're currently in the window of time when rumors about the CPUs will begin circulating, tarnishing their reputations. In fact, at this very moment, the other CPUs have been working relentlessly to prepare specialized teams to counter any allegations. I'm totally fine. This is Planetune we're talking about, Isti. My people love me. Besides, isn't Noir the only one who's made an actual team? Vert has that MMO tourney, and Blonde has Rookie Novelist Awards coming up soon. Dear me, why is it that all the CPUs lack a mature and appropriate sense of danger? Hey! Don't just lump me in with those lazy idiots, Eastwar! Oh, by the way, this girl is Noir, the CPU of Last Station, the nation next door. She's a friendless, lonely soul, aren't you, Noir? You shut up! I'm not lonely! That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, Neptune, you think you could fix this console? It looks like it's pretty broken. I'm not sure if I can. It doesn't look like technology I'm familiar with. May I inspect it for a moment, Big Sis? <sighs> it cannot be helped. It appears I will be constructing a solution on my own for Planetune safety. Yet again. Anyone, please. Save us! Huh? N Neptune! Did you hear that? Oh, I knew I heard something earlier. Good work, Neptune. -er. Where's it coming from? This is gonna sound weird, but I think the voice came from inside this console. Oh! <laughs> What should we do? I can't move! Neptune! We're, We're getting, getting sucked, sucked in! in.
Neptune? Please, wake up! <sighs> Neptune, please! Oh, come on, Nep Junior. Give me ten more minutes. This isn't the time to be sleeping. Look! Look around! Ugh, you're so noisy. Wait, did Isti find out we're slacking off to fix that console? Has she finally morphed into a bloodthirsty demon? Huh? Oh, right, 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 this is just a dream. Okay, well then, night, Nepgear, turn the lights off on your way out, okay? Oh, it's not a dream, Neptune! Get up! No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? I don't know. When I came to, we were just... here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Uh, Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, all right? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. 